But uh, how do I do a solo? Hits you right there. We're back with some more events sevenfold. We're checking out so far away. Let's get into it. Never feared for anything. Never shame, but never free. A life that healed the broken heart with all that it gave. Lived the life so endlessly. Saw beyond what others see. I tried to heal your broken heart with all that I Country-ish. Yeah, it's a more. Bit. It sounds more acoustic than electric guitar. Yeah. You know what I mean? And I don't know what kind of guitars are, but it sounds acoustic to me. Yeah. So this band, they just love. I mean, I guess all bands love music, but I mean, I feel like they just do like are just like all over genres. Right. For a song about someone passing away, it doesn't sound too sad to me. Just like the sound yeah. of it. Yeah. Yeah. It doesn't. I mean, it's not. It's definitely not like a happy song. You know, it's not, yeah. not going to make you want to just like, oh, this song's so happy. Yeah. But it doesn't sound too. It's you know, a sometimes bit, songs yeah. can just sound so sad. They're like really hard to right, listen to. Right, you know I mean? right, right. It's a little bit refreshing. Like it's a little bit, you know. I don't know about refreshing. Well, I mean, I could totally see somebody like in the summer hanging out with you know their loved one, looking at the stars, this song playing. You know what I'm saying? Like it's a little bit. I feel like it's a healthier way to grieve versus sometimes just the grieving process seems a little like, I, I don't know if this is healthy to grieve right. this yeah. way. You know what I mean? I feel like, right. like you said, it's reflective, it's thinking back, kind of that vibe yeah. to me. Say, but you're so far away. Lands of what our future's home. Foolish lies are growing old. Seems we're so invincible. The truth is so cold. A final song, a last request. A perfect chapter laid to rest. Now and then I try to find a place in my mind where you can stay. You can stay away. Yeah, not when I started not listening to the lyrics. But, um, yeah, totally not refreshing. But uh, how'd you like the solo? Hits you right there. Ah. How'd you like the solo? It's good. Yeah, I mean, lyrically, it's definitely a sad song. Yeah. As I mean, like, you know, some people perform songs like this, it sounds like they're about to cry and stuff. Right. As I mean, I feel like he right. is a healthy griever. Like, if you look it up, people say, like, Let not out. I, I don't even know how to say this, but people say, not people, researchers have said, like, the people who 
don't grieve or handling it the best kind of thing. Mm -hmm. So to me, he seems like a healthy, <clears throat> like a healthy griever. You know what I mean? To where it's not, he's not overly emotional in performing the song. Some songs seem like hard for people to perform right. because they're so emotional. Lyrically, the song seems like it would be like that. You know what yeah. I mean? Yeah, yeah, definitely. that guitar mm -hmm. I felt like he was like draining the blood from it like he was like playing that guitar I like the lead singer's voice too me too wow you know what that song had me thinking about what I feel like grief is weird because it's like okay when somebody that you love that you're close to passes away it's like something is placed inside of you and then like if you're not careful that grief will take you with it you know what I mean like it'll take you out with it what do you mean? Like, uh, you know how a lot of times people's relatives, like a lot of relatives will die close together kind of thing. Oh, like it's yeah, like a thing. Yeah. I feel like you can literally die of a broken heart. Right. So it's like when somebody that you're close with or somebody you love dies, it's like, boom, you're placed, like you have something inside you and you have to sort of learn how to get it out in a healthy way, but at the same time, not go with it while you're getting it out. Okay, you know? I feel you, I feel you. I felt like that song when he was talking about I have so much to say but you're so far away. It's like, yeah, it's like you literally have, like your life goes on and you have all these things that you would tell that person or go through with that person. You have to like within yourself figure out how to do it without hanging on to them and going with them. I feel you. Like for him, the song helped him get it out. You yeah. Think? It felt like he was literally screaming it out in a way at parts, you know? I, I like that song as a... The music wasn't so loud that it really like showcased his voice. Yeah, it did. You know what I mean? It did, yeah, that's so true. Yeah. So it was I like really didn't know he could sing like that based on the other songs we've heard. Right. Right. I think okay, okay, yeah, I like them more now. <laughs> Who do you think liked it better? Me. This song or overall? This song. No, I meant overall. Ooh. Overall I think sixty forty. I don't know. Tell me, man, what do you know? What do you know? Me and my boys on the road. Who to go? She told me, boy, you to go. 
I caught him, no. 